I know, chasing that dough, hitting that road, getting that money, man. All I know, loading that foe, kicking down doors, getting that money, man. We go make it money. We go take it crisp. We go make it money. We go take it crisp. The next topic we're going to discuss on Boxing Bros, Trill kind of alluded to it in our last segment, which was a pretty good one. You should check it out if you haven't already. Uh, who looked better in their last performance, Katie Taylor or Amanda Serrano? And I'm turning over to you, Trill, because uh, you brought up some points in the last segment. I want you to get them off right now. Um, yeah, I thought that Katie looked horrible. You know why? It just seemed like she was fighting down to her opponent. That's not who Katie Taylor is. And another thing is, it seemed like I, like these fighters, this is why I asked for three-minute rounds. These fighters need to set things up. These fighters need to set things up so they can get things up. They, they're they sitting in there. They got to throw so many punches in the rest of the account and go forward and, and stuff like that so much. It makes it seem like they're not really is an art to it. Katie Taylor is a way better boxer than what she proved in that fight. Way better boxer than what she proved in that fight. It seemed like she fought down to her opponent. Amanda Serrano, she took advantage of a person that shouldn't have been in there with her. I also feel like if we had more minutes, these ladies would get it. Most of the stops, somebody brought it up. I forgot who brought it up. Most of the stoppages just happen. If you look at uh, in boxing, most of the, the stoppages happen like in the later ending part of the round, after the two minutes. Most of the knockouts happen around there. So people would be able, I'm sure Amanda Sharon could have got her out there with three-minute rounds. But they're not allowed this opportunity to. So, um, look. Amanda Serrano did, I think, who looked better? Amanda Serrano. She did what she was supposed to do with this lady, made her look like she didn't belong in there. Katie Taylor, I think that she fought down to her opponent this last fight. That's not the Katie Taylor that I know and I love. Katie Taylor's my girl. You know what I'm saying? That's who I got as number one. You know, that's my girl, Katie Taylor. And uh, that's not the Katie Taylor that I like, you know? Um but yeah, that's what I said. These some of them like Michaela Mayer too. You know what I'm saying? She's a girl that needs to set things up in distance and and, and need to set a lot of these a lot of these fighters is, is I'm I'm just champing for three minute rounds. That's all I'm doing. I'm sorry, guys. I'm champing for three minute rounds. But to answer your question, who looked better in their last performances, I have to give it to Amanda Serrano and I explain why. All right, Conspirit G. Oh, uh I'm going to actually go with Katie Taylor. And the only reason why I'm doing that is because although Amanda did look better and she, she did violate uh, Miriam, again, Miriam had pillow fist, you know. And uh, Kaden brought this up. I believe it was probably the previous segment. You know, Amanda did get hit a lot. It just the punches didn't hurt, you know. While with Katie, she's fighting a live dog, you know. So Katie can't just be as reckless as Amanda, you know. So I think, you know, Styles make fights, right? And so because Styles make fights, you know, I think Katie just had a harder opponent than Amanda did. So I, I don't want to give Amanda credit for pretty much beating up on this girl that just showed up, you know, just to get violated. So I, I'll say that uh, uh, Katie Taylor had a better uh, performance based upon the level of opposition that she was facing. The, the, that lady wasn't even in the top ten. <laughs> she punched harder than 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 uh, Miriam uh, Gutierrez. You know what I'm saying? Like Gutierrez, literally, there was like when I was watching, I was like, "Yo, man, like, man, this game it rocked a lot." And then to Trill's point, the first round, remember, Mando put went zero to one hundred real quick because she tried to probably knock her out round one, but couldn't do it. And then the second round, Amanda kind of uh kind of like slowed the roll, put some uh she put punched on the break a little bit to kind of recover, and then went back to it. But, like, the first round was like, whoa. It was kind of like it reminded me of, like, McCaskill. You know, I think McCaskill was more like a, a Sean Porter type of fighter. But that that type of pace was there with uh, Amanda Serrano in that first round. And after that, she kind of slowed it down because I think that was a little too much even for her. And that didn't take out this girl, you know. But nonetheless, Miriam was like a sitting duck that whole fight. She would give punches, but then it was like it was kind of like watching a, a Paul Malignaggi fight. You just know he's not going to knock nobody out. So they're not going to respect your hands. You know? Five knockouts, G. Five <laughs> knockouts. Don't respect yourself. 
Pardon me. In a career of how many fights? Don't matter. It doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? It's relative. Five KOs. Yeah. yeah God five bless. Five had to be stopped. <laughs> five guys that I know they're ashamed of themselves right now. You know what I mean? But <laughs> <laughs> but with the Katie fight, it was like, oh, snap. You know, so it looked more like, hey, that girl could do some damage to Katie. So that's what I'm saying. I think I have to give it to, to, to Katie because Amanda had an easier touch last night. All right, Ned the TBE. Nah, uh, yeah, I feel Amanda did have the better performance because she dominated her opponent, but KD did have that tougher matchup where KD um, had to um, adjust, um, show use, utilize more skill, and um, stay stay alive in certain rounds. But I feel KD is the type of boxer when it comes to certain matchups, certain styles. She 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 knows how to adjust properly. She knows how to make the proper adjustments. So I feel. Overall, Kate, we all know Katie's. I, I, I almost say that, but Katie is the better boxer because she's, um, she's accomplished more, or she's she's the champion. She's the undisputed champion as we know it. But Amanda last as of last night, Amanda did um come out and show um do pretty well, perform pretty well, and yeah, yeah. I think to be honest with you. Like Miriam Gutierrez and um, Katie Taylor, they fought, and Katie dropped her, but she couldn't finish her. And Serrano didn't drop Gutierrez, but she hurt her really badly. And you, as you know, like there are people talking about Gutierrez's face at the end of the fight. Um, but for me, I do agree that Katie Taylor didn't look good in her last fight. Um, for me. It was more competitive than I thought it should be. Katie didn't throw no punches to the body that fight. I was watching like the body's open, the body's open, and Katie was headhunting the entire time. And you look at Amanda Serrano, if she does nothing, she changes level. She goes to the body, she goes to the head. And in that fight, Katie Taylor didn't go to the body at all. And I can't help but think it's because Katie's just like, I know I'm going to beat this girl when I walk in the ring. She's not excited for it. She's not up for it. And it's, it's you know, and this could be that what I'm doing is, and, and, and people are guilty of this, and I understand that I, I may be guilty of this as well. I'm judging Katie based on her past performances. I'm judging Katie based on what I see from her and what I expect from her. And she was nowhere near what I expect from her in her last fight. And Amanda Serrano, to me, dominated and made, Miriam Gutierrez look easy. So even if there's a difference in between the caliber of opponent, I thought Amanda Serrano looked better. Doesn't mean I would pick Amanda Serrano to beat Katie Taylor. Doesn't mean that I think Amanda Serrano is going to beat Katie Taylor. Doesn't mean that she won't beat Katie Taylor. To me, when we talk about 50-50 fights, this is 50-50 fight. This is about as 50-50 as it gets to me. Because we're talking about Katie Taylor, who's undisputed, Olympic gold medalist, but we're also talking about Amanda Serrano, who's been proving it in the professional ranks, moving up and down weight classes and doing her own thing. So it's not like we're talking about one accomplished fighter versus someone else who isn't accomplished. We're talking about two accomplished fighters with two great skill sets that I think would create a great fight. The tragedy in that fight, though, however, is it's only going to be for 10 rounds and two minute rounds. And that is where there is a huge issue because as a diehard boxing fan, it's going to be hard for you to convince me to pay, you know, a lot of money for a 10 round fight. That's only two minutes. The entirety of them being in that ring actually fighting is 20 minutes. And they rest for 10. <laughs> Think about it. Like how, how this is, this is, this is what is an issue because, you fight for two minutes and you rest for a minute. You fight for two minutes and you rest for a minute. How are you ever, how are you ever going to knock someone out that way? How is how is how is your conditioning ever going to show over the course of the fight? I think all the great conditioning all the great condition fighters who pull away at the end of a fight, like you look at Floyd Mayweather was that way. You know, there's that saying, class tells over time in boxing, right? The reason why class tells over time is because who really put the work in, who really grind. Who really has the ability to stay focused? Who really pays attention to detail all comes into play in the later rounds. But if you're going to just fight for two minutes and then rest 50% of the time you have to fight, 
You're never really going to break down. And so, again, it's a major issue with uh, women's boxing because I do think that Katie Taylor and Amanda Serrano and multiple um, and, and several of these other uh, women would have more knockouts if they had more time to do their work, but they don't. So, again, what sells in boxing? The knockout. So we, we are going around in circles and arriving back at a point where we don't really have any answers and we don't really know what's the answer. But I just know what we have now ain't it. And but hopefully nah, nah, we got the answers. We wrote, we we said the answers. Do are they gonna listen to us? That's a real question. You know what I mean? I'm saying we don't have the answers because, like, you know, at the at the end of the and day, we're not in position. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and, and they're gonna keep doing what they're doing. So, you know, it, all we could do is throw out suggestions and, 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 and maybe they watch, maybe they don't. I don't know. All I know is what we're seeing right now isn't it. And what I know is hopefully Amanda Serrano and Katie Taylor fight next. But the hey. truth of the matter is, I don't know if we're going to really know who's the better boxer in 10 minute and in, in two 10 minute, uh, 10 two minute rounds. That's the because, problem right there, my brother. Yeah. I don't know if we're ever going to know who's the better boxer with that limited amount of time. And they both won it. They both won it. Katie just said after her last fight, so if Sarah, uh, uh, Amanda handles her job, let's get it on for 2022. So hey, let's. <laughs> let us know how you feel in the comment section. Please like and subscribe and check us out on Instagram and Twitter. No, make sure you definitely check us out on Instagram and Twitter. And please check out our podcast on all major streaming services. We are the Box of Girls. <laughs> You're welcome. You're all welcome.